Hi guys, I'll share with you today how to speed up your work in 3ds Max by using scripts, why to use them, where to find and download them, how to install, set and use them properly, which one are the best scripts for architectural visualization, and at the end I will share with you how to transfer your scripts and custom made tabs from one computer to another once you have already set them. This is really useful and saves a lot of time in case you buy a new computer or you need to reinstall your Windows. So let's begin. Why to use scripts and custom made tabs? I believe that if you spare 500 unnecessary clicks, clicks per hour, you can invest this time and energy to improve your artwork. Super simple. The first one will be copy paste objects from one 3ds Max scene to another scene. You can download it from scriptspot.com. Press here and download it. Go to the folder, drag and drop it into 3ds Max. It's been automatically installed. Go to Customize, Customize User Interface, go to Toolbars and find here under Category CG Tools. Here create a new toolbar. I like to name them Copy Paste Objects. OK. This is the name of the toolbar, copy paste object, this one. And this here is the new toolbar. It's kind of hidden. Then drag paste object from file here and drag and drop copy objects here. You can see it's a bit tight and you can't read it. We can fix it by right click. Edit button appearance. Here is the name of the uh, of the button, but here is the appearance. You can use image, but for this script, I prefer to use just um, label, and I'll keep copy object. And for this one, right click, the same. I'll keep paste object. I highly recommend to save your tabs, but before that you can put it over here up and then press save. And I'll save it, let's say in this folder, new toolbar, like this, and I'm gonna close it. I'll open new 3ds max file to see whether it's it's working or not when you open a new file you can see that it comes here automatically if it's not coming and something happens you can go to customize customize user interface toolbars and you can load it here just going find your file and open it Okay, great. So we have the same user interface, both files. Then you can select these objects, copy, go to another one, paste super quickly. Sec the second one is copy paste material from one file to another one. This script will also speed up your work a lot. You can find it also in the same website. You can, you can see the link below. Uh, download it, then go to Max, drag and drop it, go to Customize, Customize User Interface again, Toolbars. You need to find under the category Future Geist. 
new toolbar, copy, paste material, like this. This guy over here, I'm gonna drag first, paste, and then copy. Again, right click, edit button appearance, copy MTL from material will be my label and then here right click edit button appearance paste MTL okay you can drag it here again I highly recommend to save your toolbars yes overwrite it and how is this working you can create material and assign it to this cube then I can copy let's say this material I can copy it from this file go to another to another one open the material editor and here just a second let me download first drag the script here as well and load my toolbars here there we go we have the new script in the second file as well then open the material editor and paste material I have the same material as the other project this will save you time by adding material to a cube save selecting it and transferring these materials from one file to another uh, which is could be one let's say old school way to do, doing it the next one is Uniconnector, Uni really powerful script, download from the same site, link below, go to Max, and drag and drop it here, we need to find this category, Nicklet scripts, customize, customize user interface, toolbars, category, this here, new script, a new connector okay this guy and drag it here save again here okay and organize it I'll show you some of the quick tricks uh, and what can you can you use on your connector for so when, we, when you have this uh, edit poly and if I select these edges here and by pressing on your connector it connects all of them so you can connect edges if you go to vertices this one you can connect vertices you can connect borders or you can cap as well I'll show you how let's say if you have a gap here and here and here by choosing border I can select this and this border and with the uni, uni connector I can connect them you can um, cap with this script as well if I select this edge here you can cap it you can use it instead of bridge option as well let's say if I want to connect this and this edge only I can bridge them and you can use it also for splines let's say I have this spline I'll make everything corner if I select this segment, uniconnect, 
connected. If I go to these vertices, only connect and it connects also the vertices. Like here. So it can be used for splines, for editable polys, and could save you a lot of time, a lot of other options. It replaces a lot of, a lot of, uh, of the other options. The next script is VMC Cleaner. Uh, you can find it in this website, link in the description. Go to Max, drag and drop. And you have it like this. Go to customize, customize user interface toolbars and find, find under category only. This here, new. This is my new toolbar, drag and drop. And organize it here. Save again your toolbars. You can use this script to clean your 3ds Max file when you have a huge scene and you can clean all of the materials by type of the material and all of you have here all of the, parameter, the parameters. Let's say I quickly go through it but let's say I would like to delete the self-illumination from the whole scene or I would like to delete the translucency so I can lower um, my time and reduce the RAM. You can turn off the translucency and you can find both the translucency type and the when the translucency it's with map you can turn this off or you can uh, turn off the reflection of an object of the material of one object or from the whole scene. This is from the whole scene, this is from a, for a selected object. It's really powerful script, there are a lot of options over here, but we will do additional video and explain them it further with examples. This was the first part. If you would like to learn more tips and tricks on how to speed up your work, uh, without installing additional scripts and plugins just by making the default some of the default functions of 3ds Max into tabs stay with us for the second part and see you there if you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.